Hello. My name is Humphrey Solomon Jr. Welcome to my channel. Our today's video presentation is about the case 3 of partial fraction decomposition, quadratic and linear factors. I will again discuss very helpful tips on how to use Casio ClassWiz calculator, to help us solve for the partial fractions faster and easier. Before we continue, please watch my other tutorials about partial fraction decomposition, and please subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. Now, let's find the partial fractions for the rational expression, the quantity 5x squared, minus 3x, plus 1, over the quantity, x cubed, minus 2x squared, plus x, minus 2. Our first step is, to write the denominator in factored form. We can use the Casio ClassWiz calculator to help us, and we have to put it in equation mode. We can do this if we press the menu key, and look for equation mode by using the direction keys. Second, we will choose the option number 2, polynomial. Since our denominator is a polynomial in the third degree, we will select our desired degree, 3. We are now ready to input the coefficients and constant term of our denominator. We will follow the string of keys. After that, we will press the equals key to see our first value of x, x equals 2. This gives us the first factor which is, x minus 2. And, if we press the equals key again, we will see our second value of x, x equals i. This also gives us the second factor which is, x minus i. And, if we press the equals key one more time, we will see our third value of x, x equals negative i. This will give us the third factor which is, x plus i. Notice that, we have imaginary numbers in the factors. So, we have to simplify this into a quadratic factor. By multiplying the factors with imaginary numbers, we will have x squared, plus 1. We will use this as one of the factors of our denominator. Now that we have written our denominator in factored form, we can write a partial fraction for each factor. Also, since x squared plus 1 is a quadratic factor, we need to write its numerator as a first degree polynomial. This rule will always apply to quadratic factors in partial fraction decomposition. We will use the variables a, b and c, in the numerators, since we are still in the process of finding the partial fractions, and we don't know those values yet. After that, we will combine these partial fractions into a single rational expression. You can observe that, the rational expression we started with, and the single rational expression we got with a, b and c, have the same denominators. This will allow us to equate the numerator separately. And then, we can start simplifying our right side, by multiplying the quantities bx plus c, and x minus 2. After that, we can now distribute the variable a, to x squared plus 1 carefully. Next, is to group together the terms with x squared, the terms with x, and the constant terms. We can now get a system of linear equations from here. We will get our first equation, by equating the coefficients of x squared from both sides. Next, we will equate the coefficients of x to get our second equation, and so as the constant terms to get our third equation. You can see, that I included terms with zero as numerical coefficients here, so that we will not miss it later on, in our use of Casio ClassWiz calculator. We will now use the Casio ClassWiz calculator, to find the values of a, b and c. First step, is to put the calculator in equation mode. Second, we will select the option 1, simultaneous equations. Third, we will select the number of unknowns we have in our system, which is 3. We are now ready to input the coefficients and constants, for each of the equations of our system. Please follow the strings of keys here carefully for equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. We will now press the equals key, to get our value of x, x equals 3. This value of x corresponds to our answer for letter A. And, if we press the equals key again, we will get our value of y, y equals 2. This value of y corresponds to our answer for letter B. Finally, 
if we press the equals key one more time, we will get our value of z, z equals 1. This value of z corresponds to our answer for letter C. Please make sure that you don't switch the values of A, B and C, or else, your answer will be inaccurate. Our final answer in decomposing the rational expression into two partial fractions is, 3 over the quantity, x minus 2, plus the quantity 2x plus 1, over the quantity x squared plus 1. I hope this video helped you learn about the case 3 of partial fraction decomposition, quadratic and linear factors. You can also watch the other cases of partial fraction decomposition from my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Please share this video with your friends to help them learn more in math. Have a nice day. Hello.